everybody, my name is Nick and welcome to another episode of the SideQuest. Today's beer is called Chamorro Chip Cookies Golden Stout. This beer is a golden stout with 6.7% ABV, lactose, Guatemalan coffee beans, cacao nibs, and macadamia nut flavoring. This is actually the second beer that Nico collaborated with Savage Wood on and it's based on another Guam flavor, the famous Chamorro Chip Cookies macadamia nut and chocolate chip uh, flavor. These cookies are pretty famous. I've actually seen them on YouTube um, YouTube shows where they actually eat like a bunch of snacks from around the world and these have come up quite often. This is something that I'm not sure if you can get this outside but on Guam you can get this uh, very easily. Uh, these are also probably my favorite cookies. I mean I haven't found anything that kind of matches like the like the crispness of it. Um, they're also really small, like bite size, so it's not um, like a huge cookie you have to like, eat. It does get a little bit messy because the crumbs, but it's it's great. Now, if Savage Wood can incorporate all these flavors into a golden stout, that would be amazing. Um, like I said, uh, Nico has uh, talked about this beer as well um, on his fictional How Is It uh, brewery. A label and I've actually been waiting for something like this to be made especially from him like if the King Par and this are probably my two favorite uh, ideas that he released and uh, they actually got made so it's it's pretty awesome um, the last two golden stats I had I think was the uh, Mace Aleworks uh, Chrysatos uh, that collab with Horse um, that was really good. I actually really enjoyed it. So I hope this one is in the, the, the same vein. I don't really know that much about Golden Stouts. Um, I haven't actually done any more research on it, but I am thinking about trying to brew something very similar. So hopefully I get some ideas. If I can, maybe I'll pick uh, a brewer's brain uh, about how to make a really good Golden Stout. So let me actually get to the pour and let's check out this beer and I'll be right back. So this is a golden stout. I'm not. I'm expecting it to be like a pale yellow. I'm not pale yellow, but like a yellow, golden yellow. Uh, and that's what I'm getting on here. Um, it is. Uh, it's not clear. It's uh, slightly opaque. I can barely see through it. Uh, there are some particles floating in this beer as well. Uh, they didn't use like the actual cookies, so I'm not too sure exactly what this could be. It could just be the yeast and suspension. I'm guessing maybe they uh, can condition it, but I can't tell. Uh, based on the label if they did or not. Uh, but so far it looks pretty good. Hopefully the the dregs, the particles don't and don't uh, affect the flavor. But let's put a nose on it. I am getting a lot of really great aromas, very stout aromas. Um, getting a really nice multi, uh, multi bready aroma coming off of it. I'm also getting like this roasted quality coming from it. They did use coffee in the conditioning or maybe in the brewing of this beer, so I'm guessing the uh, roastiness is actually coming from the coffee. They also added some, um, I forgot how they get the roasty flavor of a stout anyway. Uh, I know it's not roasted malt, it's something else. Ah, it's, on, it's, on, it's in the back of my mind, I'm gonna remember it right after this video. Uh, but yeah, uh, it has a great aroma, no hop aroma, just uh, the roastiness of the beer and a little bit of like, or this malty, um, malty um, aroma as well, which is great, uh, I love it. So. Um, this looks pretty good. Let's drink it. Cheers. So let's get a couple things out of the way. Uh, the beer, um, the body of the beer is like medium, medium thin. Uh, it's not thick at all. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, Carbonation is fine. Um, like like the King part, I don't know how old this beer is. There is no um, like bottled or canned on date uh, on the can itself. So I'm not exactly sure uh, how much it is. Uh, so um, yeah, I can't really tell. Uh, couldn't really tell you. Uh, so let's get get to flavors. Um, the first thing that jumps out to me when I drink it is like that coffee uh, roastiness. Like it just kind of jumps out to you, and it's like the center focus of the beer. 
uh, which is fine. I uh, kind of expect that in any kind of like stout style. Um, there is a like a biscuity, uh, slightly sweet um, malty finish on it, which I guess that's what they're trying to do with the cookie. Like you're trying to put like that malty sweetness, like biscuity uh, flavor in there um, to make that cookie part. Um, I don't pick up any of the, the chocolate, or the, I'm sorry, not chocolate, but cacao nibs, and I don't pick up any of the macadamia nut. Um, macadamia nut's like a hard flavor to nail anyway. Uh, that, that nut, that nutty taste I think is like majority oil like when you bite into like any any kind of even like a, a chocolate covered uh, macadamia nut like you get like a lot of that really thick oily uh, taste that I usually associate with macadamia nuts so that could be it I'm just not getting it in this beer um, but overall it's very muted just like the King Par which is uh, I don't know if that's like a hallmark of or a, a I guess a uh, thing with Savage Wood is like their flavors are not like super over the top everything is a little bit uh, muted and mild, uh, which kind of makes for a pretty easy drinking beer. I mean, it's not crazy high. It's only 6.7% ABV, but it drinks really easy. Like, I'm very surprised. Um, like the King Par, I didn't really like the bitterness on it, but this one, I'm like, I really love like the, the maltiness that comes out on the finish. And I really like the, the coffee, especially. It kind of hits you, but it's not that overly bitter coffee that you would probably associate with most stouts or any, or actually regular uh, like dark roasted stouts. Uh, and and yeah, like um, I yeah, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna enjoy drinking the rest of this can to be honest. Um, it's one of um, it's one of the like it's a style that I didn't think um, I would actually like. Like I'm I'm really into like I really like um, pastry stouts, which is like one of the main things, um, one of the main styles that has jumped out to me in the past few years that I started drinking uh, or uh, venturing out into craft beer. And this like I think my number one style right now is the uh, sweet stout. Excuse me is the sweet stout by left hand, that nitro, um, that nitro uh, sweet stout, or milk stout, I should say. And this is like fitting right there, not too, um, not too uh, strong as far as like roastiness goes and not too strong as ABV. And maybe it's because it's brewed lactose is why I like it so much. Um, it is a milk stout, I guess, a golden milk stout. Uh, but yeah, I'm digging it. I love it and shoot, I'm sad that this is the only can I can get. Uh, but uh, one thing I just found out is that they're actually releasing a couple, like maybe two more beers um, that they collaborated with Guam Breweries. I think they uh, collaborated with Opaque, which did the um, Always Roasted with Guam Brewery and Guam Brewery itself. So that's going to be coming out later on. And I think Nico did the artwork for both of those cans. Uh, I think later on next week or this actually coming weekend, which will be last weekend when this video actually drops. So shout out to those guys. Um, thank you Savage Wood for putting Guam flavors into beer. Um, and thanks uh, to everyone that's helping collaborate, especially Nico, dude, look, thanks, this is awesome. Um, it's a beer that I didn't think I would really like, uh, but I love it. So thank you very much. If you like this video, please uh, leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. The Tremor Chip Cookie Stout is almost as good as the cookie.